Hey there, this is Johnny with Get Privacy Freedom, and today I wanted to show you a new operating system that uh, I am using more and flashing to uh, my phones. Um, it's becoming more and more available on uh, different devices. So uh, it's called EOS, and uh, it is for E is for everyone, uh, for the newbie, for the very advanced privacy guy. It has some awesome privacy features, and it's very user friendly, which I love. And uh, I'm trying to make the, the the process or transition to um, de-googling um, to a pro privacy phone much easier say so take a look okay so here is EOS on a Samsung Galaxy S9 um, one of my favorite phones uh, very sleek and uh, if anyone's familiar with the uh, galaxies yeah they're great phones so anyway um, here is what it's like if you're starting up uh, after a fresh uh, flash or um, wipe of a uh, getting Google wiped off your phone and a new operating system like Graphene OS or Lineage or EOS, which is a, it's simply a, a fork um, of, or a version I should say, of uh, Lineage OS. So uh, let's get started right on here. Uh, just get next, English, I am English. Time zone, don't really care right now. And so go to get connected to the Wi-Fi there. Fast, I don't like to have that checked. I like to everyone ask me all the time for my location. Uh, fingerprint setup, you can set up if you want. I don't like having fingerprints on my phone. Um, protect your phone, protect this device, cry your pin. Uh, feel free to do that, no problem, of course. Um, this is what I love, sync your cloud account. So um, Marina, you can see a Marina uh, or eCloud, as it was known. Um, this connects your personal account um, and can synchronize your emails, contacts, calendars, events, and pictures. So what, what's really cool about this is, you know, if you're coming off of Apple, um, using your Apple IDs and clouds and all that stuff, same with Google, Google Clouds, you know, it's easy to transmission Google to Google phones or getting your next Apple because it just, everything transfers so easy for you. But um, obviously your ID is connected with your phone. So uh, this is a, a secure cloud account, um, obviously unrelated and doesn't go to Google or Apple servers. Um, so obviously you can log in and create an account here. I'll go ahead and pause the video. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and create an account. You don't need to, you can uh, pass this for now. If you wanna continue setup, you can create it obviously later. Um, but we'll go ahead and uh, do this on Johnny. All right, so activation instructions were sent to my email and I'm gonna go ahead, I uh, signed up. I'm gonna sign in on this device. Okay, yep, just be sure to make, uh, put in your email address, the one that was sent in your activation email and simply sign in. Okay, added account successfully. So let's go ahead and start. And there we have it, okay. Here are the pre-installed apps that come with EOS. Uh, it is out of the box ready. So this is a very cool. Um, one of my favorite additions here is the app lounge. So we'll first go take a look at this here. Uh, we'll accept that for now. Um, sign in with Google, uh, completely up to you. I don't recommend it, of course. It has an anonymous mode, uh, which this would be similar to having a Roar store, an F-Droid on uh, any other operating system like Graphene or Lineage. Um, but obviously you can use those here as well. Um, the open source or free open source software known as FOSS, F-O-S-S. The open source apps uh, come through F-Droid. So uh, it's repository. But for example, what's really cool here is you can show open source apps only if you want. Um, or show commercial apps, uh, which is basically everything. So yeah, you can find anything here you want. Um, in, I mean, everything is here. Any of your Google apps, uh, so you have to be very careful, um, be discerning what you uh, put on here. Right, what also is really cool about the App Lounge is um, the uh, privacy ratings on it. So I mentioned, you know, basically all apps are compatible, so you can get anything here you want um, that can obviously violate privacy freedoms. Um, but you can see here, so I just looked at quickly AccuWeather, if you're looking for a weather app, uh, which is already run on there, which is open source, 
but you know if you look at TikTok and things like that, um, it'll give you permissions and a trackers thing here. So for permissions, uh, it doesn't need a whole lot, uh, but there's a lot of access it needs. Uh, obviously, internet, so on, vibrate, wake, lock, uh, access in the background, so on and so on, um, or accessing your location as well. So always be careful with weather apps or anything needs your location. Uh, the trackers. Um, so you can see that there's a lot there. Um, Google stuff, Amazon, um, Google Ad Mob. Um, yeah, so it's at a zero, 10, <laughs> 0 out of 10 for privacy. Red means not good. Green's good. Um, as far as overall ratings, you know, people like it. But um, you can also so look at, if you just looked up weather, okay. You see all your different options here. And what is cool, it'll show you the privacy rating here as soon as it loads. There we go. So either weather channel, 0, 10 privacy, not good. Um, you keep on going. It also tell you if something's open source or not, which would be closed source or proprietary. So here you go. See open source, open source, open source. There's tons of them. So um never feel like they're limited if anyone feels like they're limited by open source applications that's crazy because there is a slew out there but you still have to be careful with those too uh, anyway hope that's helpful okay and another awesome feature out of the box is it gives you another alias email here which is cool Uh, with not only the email you already have, that's just free. So, um, and also when we swipe left, there's advanced privacy mode. Okay, so this gives you a, um, a VPN or virtual private network shown. For example, the real IP address is exposed. So when you turn this on, you'll have a, a, a VPN uh, that places your, um, uh, your inter internet address or IP address uh, somewhere else, basically, giving you a uh, spoofed identity, I suppose is a good way to put it. So, for example, let's, um, I want to show you something really cool. If you go, it's hard to swipe on here. Um, I should just use my buttons instead. <laughs> anyway, so if you go ahead and go to your browser, let's look up ipleaks or leak.net. Okay, this is really cool if you haven't used something like this before you can see what your IP address shows up currently, um, which shows me as being in Colorado, um, which I'm not, which is, is good. That means my stuff's working here. Okay, so uh, we'll go back to advanced privacy. And you can't just click it on back there, but anyway, if you put it on here, it also spoofs your location. Um, there we go. So location fake, trackers denied. Uh, that is awesome. It shows you what trackers uh, on your apps are trying to uh, get your information or share your information. Okay, so now we will go back to browser. And we'll check our IP leak or IP address. And so now we're in Sweden. Is that cool or what? Sweden, Stockholm County. That is where it appears. Um, if anything is checking your IP address, tracking you, which most of your apps do on a normie phone. And uh, just be careful again what you're downloading. But anyway, this will help with your privacy. Very cool. I love this feature. But you know, on Griffin OS or um, you know Lineage, uh, you would be installing your own VPN, which is perfectly fine. Um, I have my own. I use I VPN. And uh, let's see what else here. All right, so um, this isn't really part of EOS, but obviously, if you're getting a new to Google phone, um, you know most people don't even know anything about. Well, I don't say most people. Some people don't anything about a the SIM card, and uh, that gives you actual service. Um, LTE or GSM uh, gives you your network service to be able to make phone calls and text and have data um, for whatever. So uh, if you didn't see that, pretty sure you did. Here's a SIM card popper, which obviously you would get 
uh, with one, a new digital phone. You stick it in the hole here and just press. Okay, and that pops out. Okay, just pull this out. And on the S9, it is on the top side here. So again, you just press down, pops out. Okay. And what I love about the S9 is the, uh, this is the dual SIM. So you can have two SIM cards, uh, two numbers, uh, one private or, you know, one business if you want, uh, and have the SD slot as well for a micro SD card. Uh, I forget, this is maybe 512 extra gigabytes, I believe, off the top of my head. And so you simply put your, you can transfer your SIM card or if you have a new SIM card from a, uh, you know, bring, uh, bring your own phone um, type SIM card package from your carrier, T-Mobile, Verizon, US Mobile, Mint, whoever it is. And uh, so anyway, there it is. Just stick it back in and you can restart. All right, so SIM card is inserted and you'll see that um, a lot of times you will receive a message. We see your phone does not have correct settings to access the internet and or send MMS, multimedia messages. Settings will be sent to your handset. Um, so a lot of times, or most of the time, um, the APN settings, access point network, will get, be updated automatically for you. Um, and you'll have data and you'll be able to make calls and texts like right away. Um, if it doesn't work, you just contact your carrier and uh, they'll help you set up the right APN um, data points for you. Okay, so um, that was a quick rundown of uh, some of the benefits and features of EOS. Uh, again, the App Lounge, and again, there's the uh, uh, app package that added, which you can see um, with the calendar, for example, um, and with contacts. If you go to settings, settings, you can connect with the CalDAV calendar or ETE Sync. I use ETE Sync. Uh, for example, it connects my calendar with my other phone and my wife and whoever else I might want to give access. And then also with, for example, contacts, you can see um, they'll be just like Google or Apple where you'll have your contacts backed up. Uh, if you have something happens to your phone, you'll have it uh, just like Apple or Google would um, without the... Uh, surveillance and the privacy concerns, which is really cool. I want you to save it to your device too, only if you want to, uh, but this connects also you know, with this, or you can connect with your ETE sync or the CalDAV um, type thing as well. Obviously the mail, which I showed you, uh, maps, obviously important to people. Uh, this uses uh, Magic Earth. And I don't have my location on. I don't want Bluetooth on. Uh, mobile data is on. So let's see. Uh, like a location. If you don't see location on, you're good at that little. I don't know if you saw that or not. You can go to this little edit button down here. Get my big thumb out of the way. And you just go here and pull up location. I like to have mine at the top. So I don't have my location on all the time. There's no reason to. Click back on edit. I'm going to turn location on. Okay, I'll go back to maps and you can hit on your little red arrow down here at the question mark. And here, if I press the blue arrow, it's actually going to go find me. And obviously, I'll cut that part out because I don't want anybody to know where I live. You can't see it anyway, so that's okay. Oh, yeah, I have the advanced privacy on, so. <laughs> Um, that's awesome. So there's your GPS uh, spoofing, or you can't find me anyway. All right. And as well, again, suggestions are your quick tiles up here. There's your app lounge, which is easy to access. And again, advanced privacy on off real quick. Um, just note, you know, when you are, do you have this on? Um, it does slow down things a lot. I mean, probably at least 50%. Uh, as far as the speed of uh, downloading data or viewing you know, website pages or uploading, whatever it is, whatever takes data. Um, and then weather, 
you just tap on that. You can use custom location or uh, where you're at right now. Um, I typically just put in my zip code and go from there. So I think that's basically it. I hope that is helpful. Again, EOS by the E Foundation. Um, they are upgrading to uh, a lot of their devices to Android 12 soon, and that's when Get Privacy Freedom will begin uh, flashing. Many of our phones don't use uh, Graphene OS, which is uh, my other favorite operating system, which is only on the Pixels. So all the all other phones, like the Motorola's, uh, the uh, the Samsung Galaxies, um, you know, the tablet, the Galaxy tablet S uh, S5e, and so on, uh, will end up most likely having EOS on them. Lastly, uh, check out the website at getprivacyfreedom.me. Um, worldwide shipping. Uh, most of our phones, besides for or the phone, all of our phones except for the Pixel 6s are in stock and typically ship next day. Um, cryptocurrency, obviously welcome. X, uh, Monero, R, Pirate Chain, Bitcoin, very welcome. We have discounts on that, 5% at least. Satisfaction guaranteed or money back. Um, if you don't like it for thirty in thirty days, you know Google de Google's not for you. Then just return it. Um, added uh, Linux Mint operating systems on a couple laptops. And uh, anyway, you can check that out. Uh, describes you know the uh, the problem uh, with the uh, the privacy issues and being surveilled. And another thing to check out the resources on uh, the blog. Very helpful information here if you understand what's, uh, understand how we're being spied on, uh, your phone and computer, what to do about it, and uh, some other items with, you know, the greater reset, uh, and how Google is uh, tracking you and a threat to us. Um, but check that out and a uh, quick resources page um, for digital and personal uh, physical sovereignty. Uh, goes through the quick strategy of just learn to exit build uh, what that is exactly. Um, tons of resources here to check out and uh, help you build sovereignty.